something for the people out there. What you got? This is my bed. This is my bathroom. Oh. This is my dinner table. I feel good. I might as well be a prisoner in jail. I started out just like anyone else, and every time I had a problem, it's a pound, two pounds, five pounds, and I just kept going. Even as early as second and third grade, I knew I was heavier. And I remember like fourth grade, I started having to wear plus sizes. Uh, I hated that really bad. Then just gaining eating. 20 pounds a year. I ended up being close to 300 by the time I was 22 uh. or so. <laughs> My weight is very near 600 at this time. That's terrific. That's terrific. <laughs> I didn't forget, Anthony. Penny. Oh, Penny. The, the poor dear. Penny, <laughs> my 600-pound life. This selfish bitch. You brought this uh, to the show. Yes. This is uh, my 600-pound life. She's uh, Penny, and she is a mother of one uh, boy. She looks like Big I A. Believe. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> and she's got a husband who likes uh, her fat, I guess. <laughs> And she got lap band surgery, whatever the fuck kind of surgery she, she nice. needs. Or All right, she's taking care of herself, right? And then the frustration on the doctor every time she shows up and <laughs> hasn't lost any fucking weight because her, her enabling husband just keeps feeding her. And she is a liar to everybody. What? To herself, the husband, the kid, the doctor. I am trying. No, you're not. Is she you see a whiny her eating pig? nachos and fucking. Yes. And all these moments that she wants to share with her kid and everything. It's like, oh, my kid's doing this thing in school. Let me go. No, you can't go. So she just lays in bed as the father and son leave, walk oh, out the door. Yeah. And she had ample time to lose enough weight to do sure. this. Yeah. But, you know. But yeah, they followed her for like a year. What? Another selfish bitch. The cameras followed her for like a year. Let's yeah. hear more from her. I want to hear oh, from this right. poor dear. Yes. Penny's husband, Edgar, uh -huh, yes. talks about Penny gaining weight. I love Penny. Ah. <laughs> I like a big girl. Well, he's an enabler, and he he realizes in his own dumb, stupid fucking brain that if she loses weight, she might lose, you know, leave him. No, yeah. she's, so, yep. it would be, she's rotund. So it would be best for him to just keep feeding the monster. Rotund. <laughs> rotund. Beautiful. He's a sap. Yeah. This is what the 90 Day Fiance people should do. <sighs> Get their women nice and fat where they can't Plump leave the them house. Up. <laughs> right. Oh, I bet that guy will try that with the model. <laughs> the Brazilian bro. Yeah. When's episode five? Dude, I'm joking. Sunday. We're privileged people. When Brazilian. do we get it? We're not waiting till Sunday, yeah, Sam they give it What's us? wrong with you? No, we fucking... Why would they after the we tried to give away the ending? Tried to. <laughs> yeah. What? We, get, we drove a lot of people to their fine uh, TV show, so they better give us episode five immediately. I'm demanding it now. Here's more Penny. When we first started dating, she was about 450 pounds. I didn't have a problem with her weight. You know, we were able to go places. I met her at a restaurant, standing in line at the bar and talking to her. We talked for like two or three hours, and then Aww. we agreed to meet and go on a date. Four months later, we bought our house together, and we got married. After she had gotten pregnant, her weight went up to, I believe it was 630. Oh. After she had Liam, she had a hard time taking the weight off. What? <laughs> hard time. Women, you know, you got to lose that baby weight of 600 plus. 30 pounds? Pounds. <laughs> I know women at times oh. struggle with getting the baby weight off. Yeah. This is not baby weight. This is. What She's is not like a oh, Hollywood actresses have personal trainers. You're 630 pounds, yeah. you monster. You're eating nachos, you fucking behemoth. Yeah. yeah. After she gave birth to the rhinoceros, <laughs> she had a tough time losing the baby weight. Of course, weight. the baby rhino weight. 630 pounds. Pounds. That's a biggie. Ow, ow. It has affected a relationship extremely. It's been many years now since we've actually slept in the same bed. Uh, good. Oh, there's hurts. Right now, I'm her full-time caregiver, so I can't go out and earn money. We're just living on her disability. Oh, great. Yeah. Oh, right, exactly. Fuck Edgar, too. Fuck him. Both exactly. of them. You're right. You're exactly. right. He's a waste. You fucking waste. Stop going in there and feeding the monster. She can't get out of bed. So, obviously, she cannot feed herself. Her caregiver. So, everything she eats, he has to bring over to her. 
So just bring her, and if she would, no, I need my, no, here's what you eat. Right. This is what the doctor said, that's all you get. But I need Fuck my you. dumplings. Oh, she loves her dumplings. Mm. She's a big, fat, selfish fuckwad. Yeah, she really is. It's like, I understand it's an addiction and it's a hard one, but when you're making the conscious decision yes. to eat dumplings instead of salad, yep. go fuck yourself. Really. Disability. Go fuck with, yourself. With, fat people on disability is infuriating. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Fucking infuriating, you yeah. pig. <laughs> it kind of is. Get yeah. off it. Well, she should get paid. Uh, oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't agree, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got we got Colin Quinn on the line. Oh. Oh. Colin, what are we well, doing? Just, what are we doing wrong today? <laughs> nothing. I'm just calling because I had a, a fun Valentine's Day story from sixth grade, you know. And I was in class and uh you know, we weren't giving out Valentine's, but some kid decided on his own to give this girl Elba, a lovely Spanish girl, a uh, a Valentine. Oh. He starts crying and screaming, and then the teacher grabs it and like holds it up, and we all saw it. It was a bunch of hearts with a bunch of hairy pussies. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like a serial killer's fucking handiwork. <laughs> it's a hell of a story. That's romantic, yeah. cute. It's got all the features. Sure. Yeah, a bunch of cooters. Yeah. Right. All right, that's all I have. Bye. That's it. <laughs> really? That's it. Yeah. You're just sharing a Valentine, right. Valentine's story. All right. <laughs> that's just a little story. <laughs> Until next time, Colin. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Carl. Bye. I thought you were going to yell at us today. It was, I know. That was very uh, nice. You know, she's the critic. I know. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I don't like you two caving into Colin every time. I know. So fucking stand up, have some Terrible. backbone. You're right. Uh, Penny gets ready for surgery. What what surgery is this one now? That's the This is the this lap is band the lap surgery. Band. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So we start from the beginning with this oh, yeah. monster. Ultimately, I think it comes down to Penny chooses just going to live or die. Yeah. I've cried at night about it sometimes. If she continues in this fashion she could die we need to do a quick pit stop premium chicken sandwich crispy or grilled crispy, or grilled. crispy. grilled crispy oh i'm sorry crispy. make that crispy we gambled with see see that's right. why I have in no that moment that. she's a fucking pig and he's a grobber and, and crispy that, that's, that's why i have no fucking right tolerance there. whatsoever yeah. you Pay can't for that you with, can't have just grilled chicken that one fucking yeah. moment. Yeah, without it being a sandwich, you fucking slob. They're paying for that with the disability money she's getting for being fat. Yep. Right. So it just perpetuates the whole fucking right. cycle of fat. Life, life is filled with choices. Right there was a choice. That was a choice and right there. And she decided, there. fuck the choice. Chris, hey, uh, Oh, I'm sorry. He tried to I'm, correct her by right. saying grilled. Right. He tried to yes. say, let's have... And he couldn't stand up to the fucking no, monster. No, Tell her to shut up. Ah. And, you know, this old gag, but I would love a crispy chicken sandwich oh, right now. So How delicious. How great would that be? Yes. They are so You heard tasty. the boss? Crispy chicken sandwiches no, for everybody. No, 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 They are so goddamn tasty. But yeah. you got to make choices. Yes. Shitty choices sometimes. Yeah. yeah. I don't always eat what I want to eat. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but it's annoying because, like, what do you, it's not like I have the gift of metabolism and uh, I can eat cake all day. I would love some Morton's great. carrot cake, but I can't have it. Crispy chicken sandwich, some fresh tomatoes, maybe a little mayo, just a little bit. A lot oh, of mayo, little, some just mustard. A little bit. A dollop. A dollop. <laughs> yeah. Or some, a schmear. Some kind of cheese would be nice. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, my God. With some nice French fries. Yeah, a nice load of cum. Throw a shitload <laughs> of salt on the French fries. Some ketchup. <laughs> Crispy. Then, you know, wash it down with some kind of shake. This beverage. Mm. Who, who doesn't beverage. want to eat like that? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Make that crispy. We gambled with every resource my family has financially. We've had friends, families, neighbors, people donating oh. to us. Pigs. Honestly, if this is a fail, the failure is catastrophic. Wait a minute. So, so she understands what everyone is doing for her, yep. and, and, and she could pay them back by just ordering a lousy grilled chicken sandwich there, and she refuses not to. No, because she's a and selfish it's, And it's a pig. disease. Why? But Tell also, me why that part of it is a disease. Also, her fucking... Uh, it, it, it's a weird disease because the choice does go into it. Like, the idea is you do make certain decisions, 
And that's the fucking tricky part of it. And that's a decision she could make, and she's choosing not yeah, to make that decision. She's a selfish pig is what she is. And her fucking husband is a disgusting, groveling enabler. enabler. Yep. Every fucking drunk has enablers. Yeah. Every drug addict has enablers. Every fat fuck has enablers. <laughs> yeah, don't leave me! <laughs> <laughs> What the addict is bad enough and pathetic enough and selfish enough, but 50, not 50, but part, a, a percentage of it is the fucking enabler yeah. who just can't stop helping. Here you go. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> this show is so schizo. I what happened? It. What happened to sympathy, Jimmy? I, I have sympathy. It. What happened to sympathy, Jimmy? Realistic sympathy. Right. Realistic. I'm not. A, I'm, I'm not. A joke, a, no, no, no. Anyway. But I mean, you, you're. I don't want to be inconsistent. <laughs> I don't really need an answer. It's like there's a sim difference between sympathy and empathy and doormat. Right. And like I empathize with a fat person like that because it's a brutal addiction. Right. And and if she's trying, I'm behind her and I support her. You don't see yeah. the trying part. There's no fucking you got, trying. You got people putting their finances. Yeah. Yeah. Toward, yeah people are towards you money. getting better. The and least you could do is fucking go, oh, fuck, I'll suffer through a grilled no. chicken sandwich fuck this that. one time. Fuck and groveling that. enabler, if he had argued with her and said, you're trying to get better, have grilled chicken. Yeah, get used to it. And then she actually overrode him and, and said, it, 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 what are you going to do, punch her in the face? He like, couldn't quickly enough go, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Don't leave yeah. me. Don't leave me. Yeah, they should look into his issues. Cause fuck. If he was being honest, he oh. would say, yeah, I don't really want her losing this weight. Yeah. Yeah. I like it this way. And that's why he's with a big reason. fatso. He doesn't want her to leave. Right. How many times are you eating? Oh, okay. So now uh, we fast forward. This is the whole episode in, the, in a nice five-minute package. So she got the surgery here. Yes. All right. And then she goes into the doctor's office to see how much weight she's lost with this surgery she got. Yep. Because not only does she get the surgery... But the doctor breaks down a nutrition plan for oh, her. Yeah. He they, goes, this is sure. all you have to do. They could not give her more help right. than they are giving her. It's amazing yeah. what this doctor is doing. Uh, they set her up with, you know, nutritionists, mm -hmm. and, uh, therapy Whatever people, she needs. anything she needs. Physical and therapy. She fucking is just a piece of shit. It's like that fucking fatso on Long Island who mm -hmm. just can It's like, I'm sorry. I don't feel empathy for the drunk driver who gets sober, decides to drink again, and then runs into somebody again, mm -hmm. then gets sober again, and then decides to drink again, right. and then runs into somebody. Yeah. It's like there's a, you're making a choice to uh, to not address your addiction. Yeah. All right. Let me say hi to Cigars and Scotch. Hey, it's been a while, brother. How are you? Not for me. I've been here. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Fuck yeah, CNS. This is, this is one of the old timers, cigars and scotch. That's an unhealthy message. How long have you been listening uh, for? Uh, since you started, WNEW. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Right on. What do you got today, brother? Party. I remember that one. Uh, for me, the enabler is the same person that wants to give every kid a Valentine. Oh shit! You didn't uh, just oh. say that to Jimmy. Oh boy. Fuck. Oh no. No, nah, I don't. I don't. Uh, oh, no, nah, I don't think it's right. Because I think the motive is different. I think the enabling motive. There's a patheticness in the enabler where you're directly contributing to the downfall of a person. You're not just trying to make somebody who is, you know, probably... Uh, you're trying to make them feel good, though. This, it's like, you know, it, this would be more difficult to say no to Big Fat, so is making her feel sad. She's not happy in the moment. She's not going to grow. It's just... It's to make it all better now. It's this. It's I don't know. To me, it's just the same mentality. But do you not see the difference between a six hundred pound <laughs> selfish woman and a guy feeding her to death, and making an uglier kid who's in kindergarten feel a little bit better about himself? Yeah, there's like a five hundred and sixty pound difference. But other than that, but I mean, do you do you see no no difference at all in those two th scenarios? Mm -hmm. It's all well meaning, but you're you're fucking up the person in the end. But you don't see. So you think that if if you're an enabler and you're feeding someone's addiction, it's the same as wanting all the kids to get Valentine's Day cards. Well, if, if part of that is addiction too. It's like instead of learning, like, well, maybe the other kids don't like me because my personality sucks. I'll just get this anyway. Like, so, or sometimes, like, hey, maybe not everyone likes me. It's the keep telling someone they're special. It, it's all it's all meant to feel good. Yeah, but yeah. I, I do. I understand. But the difference between an adult and I'm, I'm when you say Valentine's Day cards, we're not talking high school students because I'd agree with you. 
but they're ch- fucking really small kids who don't have the mental wherewithal to make the decisions or have the discussion we're having. But that's how you learn and grow, though. That's how you find your way, like early disappointment. It's also early how you become know. extremely disenchanted and unhappy, too. Which breeds creativity. Sometimes it does, sure. Sometimes it does. Yeah, sure. Sometimes, it does. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it does, but not always. Mm. Hey, uh, Mr. Cigars and Mr. Cigars and Scotch. Hey, uh, I do appreciate your. Um, whenever a celebrity dies, Cigars and Scotch has the most tasteless, horrible thing. <laughs> what? Uh, what? What's uh, some of your uh, Shirley Temple stuff? You've had to have written some. Well, I wrote one. How do you make a Shirley Temple? How? Dig a six-foot hole, add grenadine and maraschino cherries. <laughs> See that? <laughs> that's wow. <But> that's, <laughs> wow. I guess that's a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. I want to move on to these clips. Yes. Thank you. I, dis- Later, I disagree man. with it being the same thing. I think you're yeah, absolutely yeah. Uh, correct, Cigars and Scotch. Cigars, the letter <laughs> N, Scotch on Twitter. Oh, right. there you go. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thanks for being faithful to our show. Oh, yeah. As others have tapped out over the years. Oh, Great. Right. Goodbye. Good. Goodbye. You know, I remember me. Oh, shut up. Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking don't tell me about it. Just go. You think I call a fucking television station when I stop watching? Hey, I don't you to watch, but I don't, because I've changed. I don't want to acknowledge that I've changed, so I'm going to blame you. Oh, just fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> Give so, a fuck. And we still have enough. Yes. As long as we have enough people oh, that's listening, great. that's all that matters in the end. Call <laughs> the station. But it's just this ludicrous yeah. fucking... How about you take a little responsibility? No. I get put in check almost every night. Mm. You know, performing. Mm-hmm. Almost yeah. every night I'm put in check at one moment during my set. Some For, nights yeah. it's a lot of being put in check. Some nights it's not as much. But there's always a moment where I'm kind of like, eh, uh, all right, uh, uh. you're not fucking infallible. Oh, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so after surgery, they uh, check on Penny to see how it's going. Yeah. Yes. How many times are you eating? Three times. Eh? Are you able to finish the whole thing you're eating? A or? meal? No. Mm-hmm. Like, Unless you eat the better I did. I'm like five or six but plates. But the miracle right are now. happening that you haven't lost any weight. No, you? I've definitely lost weight. Okay. Well, let's check your stomach, okay? I keep in there. Oh, you don't want to go hey, that low. Really, your belly do not look like I ain't have lost anything. Oh, my God. I used to have a wad like this to take my needles, and now it's this. Penny's not really making the changes that we wanted to make psychologically and cooperate and become a person that wants to get well. Look at my nightgown. No, 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 no. I don't need to look at your nightgown. Room. You can get up and stand up on a scale. We can check your exactly. weight. I can't stand today, honestly. And not I'm today? Okay. Yeah, I can't just, stand okay. today. I can't I'm too stand weak. today. Yeah, she's disgusting. She, she can't, can't even stand, stand today. The she doctor's did. saying, you're not losing any fucking weight. She's what? a disgusting But how does he know that? Just by looking at her? Just looking. He, sh- he knows. Okay. He's one of those doctors. He could tell. He sees this shit every day, right? Yeah. Oh, she's hateable. Penny's hateable. hateable. She won't even stand up. Hateable. No. I can't stand today to get on the scale. Work. Get the fuck up, you pig. Now, six months after the surgery. Six months. Penny checks in from home. I need to get something in me. I feel like I'm dropping all my sugar. There's really only so many popsicles and soups and cream of wheat you can take before you're done with it. Oh, I see. I cannot function without wontons. They're not the best thing for No, they're terrible for you. Without what? Wontons. Wontons. (laughs) I can't function? First of all, how about this, Piggy? Pork. You've had... Your fill. <laughs> yes. You've had your you fill. You had enough wontons. You've treated yourself enough. You've spoiled yourself enough. Yeah. And you can find... They're not a little bad for you. No. They're fucking terrible for you. <laughs> you morbidly obese, in-denial idiot. Everything about them is against oh uh, the God. money that you've gotten, your son, your husband, your useless husband, the family and friends that have given you money, the doctor, the yeah. surgery, all that. That wonton goes against all that. Yeah. They're not the best thing for me. Farting. Doctor is out and it's going to be like, why is she eating that? But I need all of this by myself. And it wouldn't be as detrimental to me as not eating. Uh, see, see, see. I don't know if I'm right or wrong because I'm not a doctor. But the deep frying, I felt that was healthier than us ordering out. 
What, what? So he's, the, ra- this, the rationalization going on here what? is bizarre. She, on one hand, is saying she's got like this big tub of fucking pork and she's mixing it up to make wontons. Right. And then she says, you know, it would be worse for me to not eat than to eat this. Right. So I'll eat this. And then the guy says, this is better. Deep frying this shit is better than ordering takeout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he rationalizes it that this way. seems exhausting. They, they're deep frying in his house. The, yeah, the, they're deep frying shit. She's, this is she's exhausting. bedridden. She's still completely bedridden because of her fat. She's on the government till because of her fat. And uh, they're they're deep frying stuff. And he's just this the the fact I, 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 are they this dumb? Oh, I couldn't tell you the last time I deep fried something. Deep fried, and, but I would love to. Oh, can you imagine would if we, you if we not want deep frying some wonderful? wontons right now? Great. Who wouldn't want that? What a fucking a soy sauce! Oh, wonderful. But I need these wontons. I need them. There's only so much soup so, in. So they're forcing her to go to the doctor for a six-month checkup yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Forcing her, because obviously she doesn't even want to do that. Nah, she doesn't. I have spent the last six months giving it all I have to lose weight and have been successful in losing weight. No, you haven't. Could you guys put me over your head so I can work on a clear bathroom? <laughs> I would like the scale to be lower than last time, because that's my goal every time I step on it. She's still losing. So what's going on with you? It's all good. Lots of nice new hanging skin everywhere. Well, no, hanging joking. skin is not a problem. What is your weight doing? Well, I haven't been able to be weighed. How yet. come? I don't have a scale. Mm. My Did you walk around? No, not yet. We weigh you right now, and you see how much you lost. <sighs> oh, it's a lot of pain. <sighs> oh, she's trying to get up. She's ah ah ah. Oh, attention, me. <sighs> You can't, have a, you can't have a goal if you're deep frying wontons. <laughs> deep frying wontons. <laughs> you can't say you have a goal at that point. Deep frying wontons. You have hope, maybe. Maybe. That you can change, but that's not an official goal. You're looking for a miracle. You're not in the goal phase. Yeah. And you haven't lost any weight. You gained weight since the surgery. Okay? You should be right now walking. You should be around 250 pounds. 250 pounds what she should be. What we have here is failure <laughs> to lose weight. Yeah. yeah. To lose weight. That's the same guy, right? <laughs> He's a, a little Indian guy. Is he? Yeah. So she's put weight on since the surgery. Yes. Yeah, she's that's, gained weight. That's pretty much impossible. Yeah, that's... At first, anyway. I, guess, I guess eventually what? You, you, you stretch everything out and you can start... <laughs> she dropped a very little bit of weight. Maybe What's 30, a little? Maybe 30 pounds. I was going to say 280. If you're, <laughs> very little. And then she just started gaining weight again because she eats fried food. You should be around 250 pounds. She should be I walking. feel that the scales were wrong in the beginning and that I weighed more than what that was. Oh, how I'm wrong could the scales be? There. Look, Penny, quit crying because this is for your benefit, okay? You know how many people like you I signed their death certificate and later on I thought, what could I have done to get across to them? And I'm not getting across to you either. There has been change. Look, I mean, it's hanging off my shoulder. You, you, you just try to convince yourself, okay? Whatever so you're you saying. can't convince yourself that your sleeves come past your hands now. And they never did that. Penny. I can reach my vagina and clean it myself. Uh, I couldn't do that six months ago. What you're saying it really make no sense, okay? And then I'm going to have to just go home where I can try and get uh, something yeah, else. I, I don't think this conversation is getting anywhere. <sighs> it's your life and I'm your not, decision. I'm- Oh, God, just a no selfish, fucking... selfish fuck. She's right. trying to tell the doctor that, yo, my skin is hanging, this, that. The scale doesn't fucking lie. She's gained weight. And then she's trying to say the scale, I, I think the scale was off when I first got on it. Mm. It's like how, it was off by 250 pounds. And plus, <laughs> that way they can't check the scale now. Right, like yes. If she said the scale's broken now, they could just say, no, it's not. No, it's not. I think maybe before. Uh, I'm just going to, and then she's just, I'm just going to go home and lay in your, your fat woman's stink bed. Yeah. Your fat bed. And eat. And fucking, and, and, and sickening, groveling, fucking awful. 
whole codependent slob that's married to her. <laughs> fucking, fucking, and he'll and he'll and and, and he'll justify all day too. Oh, well, yeah. yeah, it just was only a few. I thought it was better to. I just didn't because uh. he has zero backbone. None. Zero. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Where is she going? How, uh, yeah, How right. is she, she going to leave She can't even you? move. Can we see these monsters? Well, How cool would it be? Yes, no. with Google Earth. <laughs> I mean where you get to knock on the door and they go, come on in. Oh, wow. They, Ew. Just, they just set up an exhibit for you? Oh, you put How cool bench. would that be? You put a dollar in the box outside their Something house? Something like that. How amazing. Yeah. Seeing a, a woman a taking up a, an entire king-size bed? Yeah. That would rule. The fucking when they took her to the hospital, uh, for that uh, to weigh, uh, like the the ambulance has to show up. Right. The yeah. fucking ambulance shows up. The fire department. The has fire to be department there. has to now show up. The fucking fire department and put her and take her sheets and lift them up and and haul her outside. Who's, it's a big thing. Who funds the fire department? Yeah, exactly. Oh, Let's, yeah. Let's uh, we got we got to speed this along because we have uh, someone calling in as well. Uh, after nine months, Penny won't go to the doctor, so a nutritionist hey. nutritionist uh, goes to her house. Yeah. I think I was told by the doctor I failed because I didn't meet what goal he wanted, but I didn't have the appropriate tools given to me. Come in. I didn't have the appropriate tools given to me. Doctor Nelson asked me to come meet with you. Right. And so what I want to do first is get a little history. What was your motivation for seeking out surgery? Did I'm sorry, and don't, you can take this route if you want, but I find that to be an asinine question. Okay. Um, so, like, the motivation is obviously... I, I, I swear to God, just let her die. Who gives a exactly, fuck? Exactly. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. Here comes a woman, part of this giant team what, that's there to help her. What's wrong and with, with these psychologists, else? psychiatrists, and nutritionists? Just go, all right, you know what? I, I'm wasting my fucking time. There's other people yeah. that I'm an expert at this shit All that right. I could actually help. So go, go fuck, fuck yourself. yourself die. You know, die. It's an asinine question. It's not. Because she's going to go, I needed to lose the weight. Yeah. Well, what's your motivation? Right. Motivation. To get, out, to get out of bed to see your kids. Do you, yeah, what yeah. A fucking, what a belligerent pig. There she are is. so many people that need help and that probably would do way better at, at the help. So yeah. you just let this one go. Fuck, you don't need to save everyone. Fuck her. What's her, what's her explanation for why it's an asinine question? Because Penny's about yeah. to tell her why it's an asinine oh, question. Sure. I, I've, I've watched like three of these shows. i watched like 1,800 pounds of this show. And this woman is the most hateable I, fucking I, thing. The, the other people are amazing. They lose weight. They're trying. I, they're working. I like that we bring some of this to our show, but there's no fucking way I'd be able to watch this regularly. No, because the other Fuck people are, them. are the other people are very good. They right. they realized and they, they work at it about and it. actually lose weight. Realize that hello, they're this proud a, of themselves. Their family a life, helps. Uh, yeah. Life raft, grab yeah. it. And this fucking pig who wouldn't. She just looking a gift her in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just playing into her shit. Yeah. Go, all right, you know what? Do it your way. Yeah. I got someone else to see anyway. Go, you know, I'm going to go later. Bye. Yeah. So listen how she treats this fucking woman. Okay. Um, so, like, the motivation is obviously to lose weight and regain what it's, it's, it's to get back whatever you haven't had because of it. Or do you have goals of nope. having certain, needing certain nope. expectations that you Absolutely may Absolutely not. Will not do about. that. Will not do that. Um, it's a way for people to very easily get comfortable, sit on their laurels, and not achieve to their best ability. Good for you. Good yeah. for you. So she won't make goals. No, yeah, I don't make that. goals. Yeah, yeah, that was piggy. That, that was, was piggy. 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 Yeah, I know. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, an excuse. Trying to use therapeutic lingo to justify right. why she's a fucking lazy lump. Yeah. Well, you got the nutritionist now going through her kitchen. Mm. Now, remember, this lady can't go to the supermarket, so now we have to fucking point the finger at the husband. Yes. Uh huh. That's it. What's in the kitchen? She goes through the you kitchen. You want to check the fridge first? While you're in there, she can help you clean it out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ugh. We got the ham. We got corn and potatoes, coleslaw, uh, eggs. Uh, and then that's the pie the for pie. Thanksgiving. What what do we have here? That's the pie for Thanksgiving. Pie for Thanksgiving. Maybe you don't have pie, pie. this yeah. Thanksgiving. You know, because, because Pig needs another treat. Right. Yes. Instead of telling Pig, hey, you can't have it this time because you're an inconvenience to everybody, Pig needs another treat. Pig needs a treat. Pig need treat. Slob give Pig treat. That's pie. what this show should be. Mm. 
Uh, she made cupcakes for Liam. Lee, my son, he's not a candy eater, a cookie eater. He's got like set things that yeah, well, I am a cookie. he gets a bedtime snack and one snack a day. So we That's have some snacks. cereals here. They're in there trying to make them throw away your cereal. Mommy <laughs> said not till you're 18 that you are going to have all the cereal you want. You want to have nutrient-dense foods on hand. You want foods that give you vitamins and protein and, and give you fiber. I know what's in there is not good. I think maybe I made a bigger impact with Edgar than perhaps Penny. Mm. I think he maybe now has some better knowledge about what to look for at the grocery store. Oh, Egg whites are great protein. Think of produce, Egg vegetables. Whites, not Fruits. I'm not eating just whites. I hate just whites. I'm hoping, if anything, that, that he gets a benefit, that he can make better choices at the store now. Oh, so what you think? I think it was a bunch of... Oh, <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh, just yeah. go... Do and it all your the, way, though. Oh, she is a hateable fucking Hateable. Pig. You want to take a guess as to what cereals she wouldn't throw out that she wouldn't stop giving uh, her son? Sugar or? Pops, fucking yeah. all that garbage. I'm going to go with Crunch. Captain Crunch and uh, Frosted Flakes. I did. Opie's favorite was there. Lucky Charms for the win. Oh, yeah. Good lucky Charms. I, I don't do Lucky Charms right now. Right. I'm dying to have a fucking box mm. of Lucky Charms. Give Trust yourself me. a little treat here. Take it away for a while. Oh, shit. Her fucking husband should literally just bring her certain things and say, this is what I'm bringing you. Because she can't do I ain't anything eating else. it. Then don't. Then don't eat. Don't eat. Bye. There you go. And then shut the door to her pigsty. Yep. That's it. Bye. Final clip. Um, Penny goes in for her one-year checkup. One year. She After should the be surgery, right? Moving around, active, yes. one exercising, year everything. Yeah, one year. With that surgery, if you weigh 630 pounds, safe to say... You could easily have lost 200 pounds in a year, right? More than yeah, that. Yeah, probably. Yeah, more than that. I was being conservative. You're supposed to lose... In a year? I think in a year, yeah. You're supposed to lose a lot in that first year. Yeah, you can lose, like, if you're 600-something pounds when uh -huh. you go in, you can... He, The doctor was saying you can lose 400 pounds in a year. Right. 400 pounds. She should be up moving around. Right. Too fixed. Exercising. Yeah. 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 All right, let's see what happens. Let's see how much she lost. Oh. Okay. Hey. Hey, I love you. I try everything. I don't know how I'm going to get across to you. It's very difficult living in a world where I've given you my life and put you as my earthly God, and that's what I mean. <laughs> I don't want to matter really... what you say. The truth is in this guy. Okay? I know, I know. Okay. Penny lives in a false reality, okay. and she chooses to overeat. Uh, she does not admit it. The people that I operated at the same time I did the surgery, today they're 250 pounds. Yeah. I'm feeling like I've just been sucker punched again. Why didn't this do what it's supposed to do, what I'm doing, what I'm supposed to do? Where's my, where's my yellow brick room? Why didn't I get it? Because I'm working It's crushed under your feet. It's gravel. <laughs> At this point, like this yellow I don't glass. think Benny has <laughs> any intention to change anything in her lifestyle. <laughs> I don't know what will work for Penny. I hope she wakes up at some point. Where's mine? Otherwise, I don't think she's going to live too long. Yeah. Oh, well. For me, the things that are going to come are going to be more important than the things I've already overcome. Oh, shut up. Oh, what does that even See, mean? She needs to be told by somebody... You're self-centered in the extreme, yeah. and you're extraordinarily selfish. And the second she goes, no, you are, you say, shut up. Your problem you is. Punch her in her liver. <laughs> yeah, that you just, you want what you want when you want it. You're queen baby. Big yeah. baby want what big baby wants. That's it. And that's it. And your husband is a groveling, codependent slob. Mm -hmm. you just walk away. Yeah. Walk away and see if she gets the hint. Just oh, like, oh, fuck, they're not it. putting up with my bullshit. When you go to everyone lift. knows their bullshit at the end. You just know your bullshit. And when someone calls you out, you're like, oh, fuck. Right? When you yeah. go to detox, they don't say to you, would you like a beer? Bring me a beer. <laughs> you sit there and get nothing. No. I mean, they might put you on certain medication to help the physical, but they're not bringing you beer. They're not bringing you meth. This should be treated like that. Yeah. When you detox her and just give her healthy food. Right. I don't want it. Well, then when you lose the weight, yeah, you, you can get, get up. up and get your fucking lazy get ass in there.
Get it yourself. Ooh, that you looks pig. good. Is there any more of those? Thank you. Honey. Oh, it's uh, honey it's barbecue. Fucking... I don't want that one. Oh, I thought he pulled his fly down. <laughs> 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 it's always we got a uh... dick sucking joke. So what? What happened with that at the end? That was it? That's Nothing. That was he it. gave up, yeah. He gave up. Oh, good. Good for them. Uh, yeah. Well, I want to say hi to our, my pal, Kirk Fox. What's ah. up, Kirk?